Ladies and gentlemen, if you support honesty and integrity in Earth and space weather reporting, well, I'm here to tell you that the sun is definitely waking up and exceeding almost everyone's expectations with its activity. Yep, that's right. Sunspot progression numbers are in for June, and now the solar sunspot progression has exceeded NASA and NOAA's expectations, prediction, predictions, and projections for 12 of the last 13 months, with June almost doubling the predicted values. And as of right now, we've got three sunspots on the sun, and we are still early as we head towards solar maximum, which we should arrive at in about four years, somewhere around 2025. And somehow, for the last five or six years, the truth community and YouTube, or the truther community, has been 99% unified in selling everyone a grand solar minimum, which is way below the NASA and NOAA predictions. And so now that we are out of solar minimum, which was here, and which was relatively short by historical standards, and now that the sun has been kicking ass the last few months with a lot of activity, I'm just curious, what are, where's the actual evidence, where's any evidence that we're heading towards our grand solar minimum? As we head towards July 4th, you know, this is still America, people should still be allowed to have their own opinions. So if you want to believe in a flying spaghetti monster or grand solar minimum, that's your right. I'm just wondering how the entire YouTube truther community can be 100,000% so sure we're in a grand solar minimum where I'm still looking for evidence of it. You know what I'm saying? And so that's all I'm asking. This is a friendly, non-combative video. So I'm just wondering, like none of the data supports um, those conclusions. And it looks like solar cycle 25 is definitely going to be stronger than solar cycle 24. And, you know, it had been, they had been correlating that if we go into a grand solar minimum, we would be going into an I, mini ice age. We just had temperatures broken in Canada for the whole nation within the last week. We've had major temperature records shattering. And yes, there are low temperature records that are being broken too, but the hot earth records are being broken at like a three to one rate for the colder records. Personally, I think that we should all open up our minds and look for more answers and solutions to the problems that we are facing because I believe the entire solar system is changing and the location of the planets makes a big difference. When you have all the gas giants on the same side, you see more earthquakes, you see more volcano eruptions you know the solar system is a very complicated place and the sun is a total mystery nobody knows what the sun is going to do next you know we had betelgeuse a star in sirius pretty much dim for a year and a half and so you know this is just a friendly july 2nd video with me asking questions and so i hope everybody has a fantastic fourth of july I'm not mad at anybody. I don't hate anybody. I don't blame anybody. I don't like to stay cool. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I do it. I appreciate you, Asteroid Fight Club. And if you do appreciate at least one guy in the YouTube community who isn't trying to sell you a grand solar minimum, I do a monthly fundraiser every single month to keep things up and running. And man, it has been a battle with hackers and everything all around for the last five or six years. Just trying to even get my message out on the sun or hurricanes or the plague or whatever is going on. Just trying to get people to get along and be cool. It's been a weird battle. But I depend on your contributions every month to keep the warnings up and running. If you would like to contribute, I got a pay I got a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and only thirteen hundred and forty four dollars left to raise. With a little over a day and a half left to go. Thank you to everybody in Asteroid Fight Club. You guys are incredible. All right, everybody have a great day. Peace out. Talk to y'all soon.